<clears throat> you ready? I'm ready. Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Hello, gang, friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff for nail stuff and the stuff she does for nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Yes, it is. Guess what? I've got. I'm so excited about this. These are the Selena Ryden nail cards. They are beautiful. Do you know what I love about Selena Ryden? Everything. But her, we have the same, we're on the same, like, if I designed this myself, it would look exactly like this. You know, witchy, she's got the same witchy, cosmic-y, mystical, sacred geometry vibes that live in my brain. Um, so that's good. So, I, so these are, right. We have 20 colour cards, 20 word cards, 20 element cards, 4 shape cards and 3 accent cards. I'm not going to show you them all because I don't want to spoil it for you if you buy them. And I'm also not going to be doing it at random today. Because what you can do with these cards is pick out at random a colour palette, a word card for theme and then an element card for little pictures and ideas to put in the set and then a shape, nail shape card, and an accent colour card. So it's it's going to be such a game changer for when I have... What's the artist... Did I just refer to myself as an artist? What's the writer's... What's the nailer's version of um, writer's block? I just have word block right this second, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, I was missing... Found them. Found them! Um, yeah, so just a creative block. There we go. So just pick out things at random. Bam, you can make a set with it. Or it will prompt other ideas. So I think these are going to be super handy for that. They're, I feel like I'm never going to worry about having block ever again. So these are the ones I've chosen. The lips and something to do with eyes. I like the little sort of small dots and hearts on the lip one. We're going to do long ass square ones. I'm not going to use a theme, a word card because I know I want to go sort of Valentine's-y. And then I love this color palette as well. It does go a bit different, but I think that's the whole point. It's, you know, you can use them and just copy what's on there, you know, the pictures or the theme or whatever or you can use it just to inspire you and sort of wake up your imagination when it's just not working these were out of stock for a while so i was refreshing the website i got them from house of nail art or is it home of nail art i'll put it on screen i was refreshing every two minutes that's not an exaggeration every two minutes I had an alarm set to refresh and I was doing it several times in between apart from when I was asleep but I was doing it when I was with clients I was doing it when I was in the bath <laughs> I did that for nine days um, and then they were in stock and I got them immediately so we are going to do let's start um, a couple nails pale pink and then three nails with this is beach no, what did it just say? Barbie Girl from Madame Glam. And we're going to ombre these together using the Madame Glam ombre brush. And I like the side to side technique. You could do the top to bottom technique where you drag, you sort of tickle, <laughs> tickle it downwards, moving left to right, but pulling down with the brush. But I like this because it's just, I don't know. It's just how I first started doing ombre side to side, so it's kind of stuck with me. Um, and this is the second coat. You can do this technique on clients, pull their side walls, sort of pinch them as far back as you can. And then maybe you, you, your brain does stop you from going too far left and too far right. So you can avoid getting it on their skin completely. But if you do get it on their skin, um, the product, then just wipe it off, obviously, before curing. Um, and wipe it off with a bit of isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free wipe so it really does get it off just in case they have a reaction. 
um, but I, I've never had any issues with it and this is the technique that I always use and if you if it's getting dark too far down wipe your brush and start from the lighter color and work up or vice versa so I've matte topped those these are the last two nails that I did so these aren't inspired by the cards but they're what I decided to do after doing the other ones that were inspired by the cards so the, the cards did get my creative juices flowing my brain juice um, my brain juice flowing so I'm going to do a heart I'm doing it bigger on the left bigger as in wider not taller on the left because that side of the heart is going to be the front and the side view of the heart so we'll be kind of sectioning off a bit of that to be the side so we're doing one side a bit wider than the other side and then the same with this one we'll make the left side wider and then on another nail I'm doing the same but I've popped the lighter heart to the left and the darker heart to the right so we're doing sort of a mirror of this one so we'll cure that and I believe I did did I do two coats do you remember I don't really remember I think I did yeah and then I'm outlining with the Madame Glam black gel paint so you'll be able to see clearer here that the one side is, is bigger than the other and that's because we're going to do this and I'm placing that line where it would make the front view of the heart, because that slither is the side, placing it where it makes an even heart for the front view. So each, the left and the right side, the same size. Does that make sense? I think it does. I'm going with yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> and now I'm going to write some little sweet nothings in there. I'm using the Madame Glam um fine detail brush and I really like their brushes because I find that I have to sort of go back and re-dip into product a lot less with their brushes maybe because they're thicker than the ones I normally use but even though they are thicker you can still get really small um, detail and thin lines so we've written love you and kiss um, just in just in a sans serif font not trying to get fancy this small and then I'm going to write wild one <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see that anywhere I just thought that's the sort of thing that love hearts have on them aren't they sort of cute but odd sayings like rad dude things like that <laughs> and then I'm writing hug hug me which please don't that's far too sociable <laughs> go away um but we're writing that nice and small, but easily broken down into, you know, a little line, another little line, another little line, U shape or C shape for the D. You've got a little line and then a C shape. Break everything down into tiny little details. It doesn't, then it's not too kind of scary to do little things if you break them down. And then my camera died. So we'll get back to those. I've painted... Oh yeah, we're going to try and do this one. I'm the nerd. Am I brave enough? Why not? So let's do this step by step. We're going down and up, just like that. And then down and outwards at an angle. So down and outwards at an angle as well. And then we're going to join those two up with a big curve. Oh, Oh, I've got a video call coming through. I don't want anyone to see me right now. That was two hours, 58 minutes and 19 seconds on the phone. <laughs> but I'm back. So we've done the outline there. I may have flash cured as I went, just in case I made a mistake. We're doing a little U in the center or a shallow U and then two curves to the side. And then we'll just do a big C on the side uh, as in the C is on its side <laughs> and then we're going to fill that all in I think this set 
when I looked at it after, because I, I really love the way this came out. And uh, I've said before that I'm, I'm never overly impressed with my work. Not as in, I think it's rubbish, but I'm, you know, I'm not blowing my own trumpet often. But this set, I really like how it came out. And I think it's one of those sets that you look at, and well, I, I look at and think, that looks like it, it would be tricky. I'm sure plenty of people won't think that at all when they look at it, but it's easier than it looks, I think, this set. I am playing pretty close to the boundary of being in and out of shot here, but I think sometimes it is quite low down, but I, you can see it. So just ignore the massive gap around what we're trying to look at. So I've cured that and now I'm taking white gel paint. I'm going to follow the line that we've done. I'm going over the pink because I realized I needed more room in the mouth hole. <laughs> I needed a bigger mouth hole. So I'm using, I'm covering up some of the pink with the white gel paint. So we've gone little curve and then started to bring it down like we brought the sides of the top lip down, but ending it sooner. And we're going to leave a tiny little V out of what is essentially just a straight line across the bottom of the white here. So keeping with the pink lines here, but not all the way to the sides. And then just leaving a little V in between. And then we'll fill it all in. Is this, I mean, I am just saying what I'm doing. But I think because I sometimes look at pictures of nails and think, I can't do that. And I don't, and I feel like nobody should look at anything I do and think that because if I can do it, surely anybody can do it because who the fuck am I? Um, so I feel like maybe breaking it down into shapes as we go would be helpful. So, yeah. So now we're just going to do a big pink circle. I've, I'm using a different pink to the other pinks. Could do it in the lighter pink background, but I wanted to um, use a different pink. <laughs> And then we're going to do a big circle. I've plonked a big dollop of it on there and I'm using that as my palette on the nail. And I'm taking it further down into the lip, the bottom lip as well. So now I will need to rectify the side bits of the bottom lip, which we will do in a minute, those bits. So we're full curing that. And then black gel paint again. And we're going to outline everything. And then we'll fill in either side of the ball what does it turn out to be oh it's a cherry did think about doing it red because sometimes red and pink can look nice together but i think they're the wrong pinks to go with red um, especially that hot pink i didn't want to put the red in there um, so we've done another pink and then we're going to outline it in black and i did want to do the lines really thin but i don't think it suited the style so we're thickening up the lines a little bit and then outlining the ball oh my goodness that took me like five goes to outline the ball I was really annoyed at myself um but circles just not not my thing I'd much rather do straight lines so taking our oh, sweet time to outline that and then we'll out outline the inside of the lips and the ball and then we'll fill in either side of the ball and we'll um make that little v that we left in the teeth We'll make that a bit more prominent because we'll be, it will be black in the gap. And again, I am flash curing a lot as I go or full curing if I do think that I might cock up the next step. So I tried to outline that circle a few times, but I had full cured everything. So it didn't matter that I kept wiping um, because everything was staying where it was. And then we're going to fill in around the ball with black, not making, leaving a thin black line for the side where the top and bottom lip meet at the side, leaving that line still the thickness of the lines that we've used to outline everything. <laughs> Am I being helpful? I'm trying to be helpful. Um, I can't, I've just been speaking to someone for three hours. Um, I feel like I don't have any words left. Clearly I do. <laughs> Clearly I'm not shutting the fuck up like normal. And then we're adding some white highlights just with the white gel paint, which were on the um, element card in that set. So I'm following those and then adding a couple to the 
cherry and then we'll do a swoopy line and then add a little sort of dot to one side of that line for the top of the cherry stem and then a C just a little C and that is that and then this is the bit where the camera cut off on the other ones just going to do a heart which is two dots pull them together super easy and then a dot a bigger dot and then a really small dot and we'll do that at the top and the bottom do you know what I'd love to do with this set I'd love to do it again but add more shading and more detail to because it's quite cartoony isn't it um, which wasn't initially the plan but um, that was fine I was happy with that but I think it'd be really cool to do it in a lot more detail um, I might have to do that at some point I'm now taking the petal brush from Madame Glam which looks like this and I'm going over the lips the whole mouth with the no wipe top coat and this brush is quite a big br well I mean it's big and it's big in the nail scheme of things not in the grand scheme of brushes in general it's really fucking tiny but it's quite bushy so it fills out small areas quickly like before having this brush I would have used a, a thin detail brush and it would have taken yonks but this covers everything nicely and then I'm going to just sort of wiggle up and down a bit to try and get the light line straight on the shine um, so it's thickish to try and get a straighter light line on the shiny bit um, and that's that and I love it do you like it I really want to know your guys opinions on this set because I'm I really love it and I'm not a pink person um, but I love it so now we're going to do an eye we're not going to copy exactly an eye from the element card but we're using it as our inspiration and then so we've done a big U shape and then I messed this I messed this whole top bit up but I do sort of rectify I wanted it to come thin at the sides to a point to meet the bottom U shape but it ends up in a kind of block and now why are you putting that much why are you doing it that thick I don't know it's um it's it's Amy Winehouse's eyeliner really thick oh I loved Amy Winehouse I had all her albums and I was just used to listen to them over and over and over my best friend was friends with her they went to the same um theatre school um a little useless fact for you there so we're going to fill that in and full cure it because you know I'm probably going to mess up the next bit so we'll full cure I was planning to be back on screen for this video why aren't I I think I just procrastinated doing a bunch of stuff for a couple of days so now I'm just running behind in in life <laughs> in general but I will be back on screen soon I know a few of you have been asking um, I'm sure plenty of you are more than happy with me not being on screen but I will be coming back at some point soon 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 so now inside this we're going to do a heart again just two dots and pull them together in the brighter pink and now we're going to do some eyeliner in pink and I did end up curing this but I then turn it into drips so had I decided to do drips at this point which I hadn't then I'll oh, get in shot then I wouldn't cure this bit um, just because we're going straight on to join up to it but I had cured it at this point so we're doing a dollop whenever you're doing something like drips or something get one in the center you know or if you're doing stars all over a nail start with one in the center and work outwards so that the center is has the thing that you're doing <laughs> in the center um, so we're doing a dot and then pulling it up to the line and then we will curve in between to make them drippy always curve between your drips because that's how drips drip and even though one of the eyes on the element cards none of them had drips on like this one had sort of like 
bead shaped sort of charms hanging from the bottom of the eye and that's what made me think ooh drips so they are these cards I love these cards so much I've reorganized my desk I did it um when I was away at Christmas well I was here <laughs> away from YouTube at Christmas and sorted out my desk and I bought these organizers these little drawers desktop drawers oh they're so cute and now I have these cards in one of those drawers and I just keep opening the drawer and looking at it like, oh, my little box of cards. Um, what was I talking about? Nails, probably. <laughs> so we're going to outline the heart and then we will outline the drips, I think. Or do I add the white now? I was kind of wanted to do more inside the eye, like where the heart is. And I tried a few things, but didn't really like it. What I kind of wish I'd done would be to do the whole middle of the eye in pink and maybe do the heart in white or a lighter pink. But then what colour would the drips be? Hmm. No, I think it's fine the way it's turned out. So going to outline the drips, trying to get the thickness of these black lines the same as the thickness that we used to outline the mouth. So when you're doing a set, you want it all to be, oh, the word just came straight to mind and disappeared. You want it to be not uniform, but yeah, kind of uniform in the fact that all your lines are the same thickness. It keeps in the same style, but I couldn't go as thick on the drips because then the, the sort of black would overpower the pink a bit. And now we're going to do, I'm using this, the, the curve from the part of the eye that we've got, the outline of the eye that we've got, to start the circle that's going to be... Oh wait, is that the pupil? No. What's the coloured bit? The iris? Yeah, I think so. So I used the shape that we already had, pretended I was drawing a circle, and to get the sides of the circle. Circles don't have sides. And now, yeah, the big black bit was bugging me, so I'm just putting some white in there, just like that. And it kind of ties in with the white teeth. It's nice to tie everything in. And then for the lashes, I'm not doing what, you know, I'm not trying to make them look like lashes. We're just going to do some lines getting smaller as we go. So not so much a lash as kind of a an eyeball crown. It's like a tiara, an eyelid tiara. <laughs> and then we will probably cure that. And then we're just going to add another little heart and some dots. And then I think just dots at the top because I didn't think there was, I think it might have looked a bit squashed if I'd done a heart up there as well. Are you all okay? How is everybody? Have I asked this already? I don't know. It's half past one in the morning. <laughs> I've just been on the phone for three hours talking about everything from the universe to Ernest Hemingway to goodness knows what. Randy felt face at one point. Um with an ex-boyfriend, funnily enough. Uh, too much information. Now we're adding some highlights to the drips with the white again, just a line and then a little dot next to it. If a dot takes your fancy, we love the dot over here. <laughs> I'm a dotaholic. And then just some random white lines. Are they where the drips will be shining? Don't know, it's fine. Just plonk some on there and a little bit in the heart as well and then that is it i feel like i could have done more i could have done that better but no i quite like it i'm happy with that so we're going to top that as well with shiny this is a long video isn't it well it's half an hour um and that's a lot of it's a lot of me talking you see here where i'm trying to sort of get the thickest part of the top coat in the center and then working to make that as level as possible because obviously we've got a few different layers here so you do want it to be thickish um but not so thick that it crinkles you know there's a happy medium and then for the drips putting a bit of pressure on the brush in the thick part at the bottom here and then as i move up i'm taking some pressure off so the bristles aren't as splayed and they come back in thinner for the top bit of the drip yeah and that's that one love it but i could oh, i should have put like a white a uh, pink line in the white line 
would that have been a bit fussy i don't know and now um we're just going to do drips and a heart and outline and highlight so i always start my drips with the drips as opposed to the top bit i don't know why just to get them where i want because if i mess up the drip and i have to wipe it off then I'll end up probably wiping off the top bit. So I'll get those right first. And again, putting one in the center and then one either, either side. And then we'll just bring them down and make them all gloopy. I mean, is this Valentine's? There are some hearts on it and it's pink. And there's a mouth and Valentine's is kind of the, the, the mouth holiday. <laughs> the snogging holiday. Um, I don't know what cherries have got to do with Valentine's. Should have done a heart shape. No, it wouldn't look like a cherry, would it? I feel like I see, you know, I recognise your names in the comments because I do read all the comments and I recognise people's names and I'm like, oh, she's the one who's got 17 dogs. One of you has 17 dogs. We were chatting the other day. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I would love 17 dogs, but that's bonkers. That's kind of heaven, really. Um, B, I recognise your names and I remember things about you and conversations we've had. So when I sit here and I'm just rambling um, about nails, I feel like I'm just kind of, and I, I know you. I'm just chatting to you. It's cool. Is that all right? I'm just lying on my bed, chilling out. <laughs> I've told you what I'm doing on this nail. I feel like there's nothing more to say. I don't have anything to say for myself. Oh, I had forgotten to matte the light pink. So I'm going to mat this now because we were going to go over the drips and the heart with top coat anyway. So they'll re-shine. You can mat something and then if you go over it with shiny, it will obviously shiny it again. Sometimes matte can dull a colour a bit. So maybe be careful of that. I don't know. I don't know which colours or which brands. So that's not helpful. <laughs> but it can dull it a bit, especially white. Or if you've matte top something and then I've done it before and then had to matte it again and it looks different to um, one that is the same color, but maybe not matted. You can see that it has dulled it a bit, but, but this was fine. Do you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see some recreations of this set. There's something about this set. And I feel like a, an asshole saying it because I did it. <laughs> it's a set by me. But I just love it. I love it so much. I think it, it makes me happy. The colours and I'm being a bit pink lately. Which is odd because I'm not, like I say, I'm not a very pink person. But yeah, I'm feeling a bit pink lately. And this set makes me happy. So I would really love to see some recreations of it. That would be so cool. And I like it when, you know, some people will do a recreation, but they'll do it in different colours or they'll put their own twists on it. And I just love seeing it. It's insane to see someone else's version of something that was in your head. You know, it's bonkers. So we're adding some highlights again to this. Kept everything to the left, to the left, to the left <laughs> of the drips um, just to for it to make sense, I suppose, when you're doing shading. Or something you do it on the same side of everything and then we're adding another little heart and some dots a small dot a big dot and then a very small dot just gives it a kind of twinkly magical vibe and then again we will top with the p -p 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 petal brush from Madame Glam I think I've got no I have got all their brushes and I really like them and I do, you'll see I use other brushes sometimes, pink ones, which are from Crystal Nails, which I also swear by. Uh, but they're very thin. But I have found when I did the video where we talked about the brushes, the Madame Glam brushes, that you can do, they are thicker, but you can still do really thin detail. I suppose it's just all about how much pressure you apply and how much product you have on your brush. But my go-to brushes are all the Madame Glam ones and the Crystal Nails Zero Long, Zero Short and Barbara 2. I know lots of people ask that, so that's what I use. And here's another quick look at these. 
and the ones we have picked to see how they inspired this set. Obviously my pinks were different, I didn't use that many pinks but it got me in the pink mood. Long squares, lips and an eye. It's, the, it's that one, that eye on the bottom left that made me think drips. And this is what it created. It, that's me. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I love them. Oh, I didn't do three ombres. I did two. Okay, I lied earlier, I'm sorry. So yeah, you can see my lips don't look the same as the ones on the card and the eyes not the same, but you see, you know, you see it in there. And I think that's, you know, what Selena said in her things. It's not just for, you know, copy that picture or, 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 or it means it's wrong if it doesn't look exactly the same. It's to inspire and get your creative juices flowing and interpret it how you will. And I think if someone else picked those exact cards, there's, you know, they, their set would look completely different to this. That's what's so cool about them. If you do like this set, then give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye.